ஹலோ ஹலோ குட் மார்னிங் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் டீச்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு வெல்கம் மை எஸ்டீம் கெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆனர் ஜி நிர்மலா ஜாய்சி எம் டெக் ஷி ஹேஸ் லெவன் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஒர்க்கிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் காலேஜஸ் த சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஹேண்டில்ட் பை அவர் ஹார்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் information security and c++ design and analysis of algorithm software engineer mobile computing computer graphics computer networks database management systems she has presented many papers and also published uh, the uh, papers presented by her are tdma scheduling in wireless sensor network that is a nash in national conference she also published a paper on weighted support based mining association rules a computational approach without pre assigned weights in international journal of computer science and technology uh, she also published many papers uh, these are some of her works i feel privileged to welcome you ma'am good morning joyci ma'am you are welcome good morning ma'am thank you so much thank you for accepting our invitation and taking over this session ma'am you are welcome thank you, thank you ma'am can i start the session girls okay. yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah thank you so today we'll going to study about the security and privacy so first of all can you tell me a definition of information security why we are using this information and why we are securing the information yes none of you uh, ma'am i cannot uh, i am not able to share my ppt it is asking only organizers and presenter can share yes ma'am organizer please make ma'am as a presenter sir are you yeah yeah do that immediately okay so what is information security and why we are securizing the information now day to day life we are using large amount of data okay so we need to securize the information for that we need this information security so information security is nothing but we are maintaining and protecting the confidentiality integrity of the information okay so that is information security Ma'am, please check my email. Are you able to share the screen? Uh, I'm not able to. There is a network issue. I'm enabling. Okay. I'm not able to share the screen, so I just stop. Yes, ma'am. Once you have done that, you let uh, ma'am know. Okay. Ma'am, um, I have the I have changed it to a guest also, ma'am. But I don't know why she is not able to share the screen. No, you should make present. Yes, ma'am. People in my organization and guest, ma'am. I gave it. I gave the option. Again, in people, you make as organization. Okay. Ma 
Ma'am, once check it, ma'am. Yes, one second. No, I am not able to share it. Yes, now I can share it. Ma'am, ma you share it, me, ma'am. Ma I'll share it to the organizers. Now I'm able to share, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yeah, carry on. Thank you. So, is my PPT visible? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, today we'll see privacy. Privacy is nothing but uh, individuals' personal information, other sensitive data is being protected from public disclosure. So, that is privacy. So, today we will be seeing what is privacy, principles of privacy, and what are the five core principles of privacy. So privacy is nothing but we are securizing the information. Okay, so we are making the information confidential and cannot be taken or accessed by the public or any other company. So in that we are having five different core principles. So first one is notice or it can be called as awareness, choice, constant, access, and it has another name that is participation, integrity, security. Security, enforcement and redness. So these are the five core principles we will be seeing in privacy policies and principles. So first we'll see notice. Notice is nothing but it is familiar to network professionals. So here in many systems, including many websites, you have a notice with respect to ownership and security. Okay, so notice is nothing but whenever we are going to any uh, website, so we will be having any over ownership based on the ownership only we will be able to uh, go inside that website so if we don't have any ownership then we will be having a warning sign okay so with warning sign that will access to the network and we and it will be saying that we are unauthorized users so notice is nothing but uh, where it is telling you that we are authorized or unauthorized users so next one is choice and choice is nothing but it is can be called as honesty and sensitivity. Choice is nothing but in a, in you have many options. So depending upon the options, we are taking one personal information. So based on the personal information, we will be using that choice. Next one is access. Access is nothing but it is participation and letting people know about what information we need to find out and what is the information ease and what is the information accuracy and completeness if they believe it is wrong okay if they believe it is wrong you have to check what is the accuracy and completeness of that information that is access integrity integrity is nothing but you can see you have another name for integrity that is security so integrity is nothing but you are you are having multiple resources so depending upon the multiple resources you are accessing the data and converting it to a normal form so here security involves both the things first one is managerial and technical measures so managerial and technical measures will help the information to protect from unauthorized access so that is integrity enforcement enforcement is nothing but it is impressing okay it has some impressive principles so depending on that principles it will be going further into a several factors where we can have the information secured securitize the information next one is authentication and privacy so here authentication authentication is nothing but it is a problem of ensuring the communication between the right party and the unauthorized access so authentication is nothing but it is providing the access control for system 
okay it is providing the access control for the system by checking if the user is matching the database okay he, whether he is the authorized person or not okay so that is authentication in this authentication we have different types okay in the authentication we have very uh, we have different types of authentications we will be covering so first one it can be called as single factor authentication single factor authentication is nothing but whenever we are logging okay we are go we are going to any website so here we have the own user id and password so that thing is nothing but single factor authentication so when you have the user id and password then only you will be able to log in into that website okay so that is single factor so based on the authentication we have different types of authentication so here we can see different types of authentication that is two factor authentication multiple authentication biometric factor otp and three factor authentication and biometrics so first we'll see two factor authentication two factor authentication is nothing but it is an extra layer of protection okay where it is giving you extra layer of protection and it is a second authentication factor where it is having the password okay where it is checking the factor that you are a valid user or not and second one we will be having a verification code so depending upon the verification code or the text okay printed or uh, getting in a mobile so based on that code only we will be able to go into that website so that is two factor authentication next one is multi factor authentication so multi factor authentication is nothing but where we are having more than one, more than one authentications okay so that is multi factor authentication so more, more than one means it can be a two factor it can be a multiple authentication you can say it can be a biometric it can be a face recognition okay so depending upon uh, the authorized users we are using this multi factor authentication next one is biometric factor so biometric factor it is based on the security key okay so which is generated in a phone okay which is generated in the phone so you can say an example of an um, you are working in a reputed company so when you are logging logging into that company company website you will be generating one security key so based on that key only you will be entering that credentials so that is nothing but biometric factor where you will be having a security key uh, you can say token generated based on the token you will be able to go into that website so that is biometric fa factor next one is otp so otp is generated automatically you can say it can be generated uh, numerical or alpha numerical strings okay where it is telling by generating the key and by going through the key you can say that he is a authorized person and he is a valid person okay so and using that key we can log in we can change the pass uh, password okay so that is otp and th next one is three factor authentication three factor authentication is nothing but it is having three authentication factors so first authentication factor is password and second one is using the security token and third one using biometric uh, it can be a thumb it can be a index finger it can be a face recognition eye scan okay so that is three fa three factor authentication next one is biometrics so biometrics biometric identification is nothing but it is uh, it is based on the biometric uh, it is scanning our retina voice recognition fingerprint so these all come under biometric scanning biometric uh, authentication so why you have all these authentications and privacy we have so to nothing but we are securizing the data for that reason we have different types of authentications next one is data mining so what is data mining and why are we using this data mining data mining is nothing but we are sorting the data okay we are sorting the data and setting the data in different patterns and based on that we are maintaining the relationship uh, relationship between the data and that data we are using for further trends okay further trends okay so that is data mining 
so data mining um, you can say data mining is nothing but it is a uh, it is nothing but detecting the malware code okay it is detecting the malware code and it is detecting the intrusion intrusion is nothing but uh, disturbances which are occurred in that data okay so it will be de detecting that data uh, disturbances which are which are coming into that database so here intrusion of network database servers web clients and operating systems these all these all things can be done in data mining in data mining uh, we have intrusion intrusion is nothing but unwelcome interrupt okay you have some many situations where you are going unvisited okay you can say you have an example you have going somewhere unvisitedly okay that is nothing but intrusion so intrusion is nothing but detecting the malware system okay intrusion is nothing but where you are detecting the malware system and improving the uh, efficiency of the system to be aware from the threats and data mining is nothing but you are analyzing the information discovering the new patterns and data and predicting the future trends in the data mining we have a knowledge discovery database you have knowledge discovery database where you are setting the information in larger sets of data so in that we have first in we have four steps first step is selecting cleaning integrating okay so first step we are selecting the data cleaning the data and integrating the data and third step we are transforming the information and preparing it for mining so in the mining what we are doing we are collecting analyzing extracting the information then identifying the patterns and unusual new patterns to that so these are the four methods we will be seeing in the data mining okay next one is website website is nothing but it is protecting network website is nothing but uh, in the web security we are protecting this network or the system okay why we are protecting to damage to overcome the damage of software hardware or data software hardware or data and here it includes protecting computer system from misdirecting or disrupting the services they are designed to provide and it is nothing but cyber security it is giving you cyber security and it also covers website security it is making the website from attacks so in the web security we are using a vpn vpn is nothing but virtual private network where it will fall under website security umbrella okay in the web wide security we have different nine different security softwares so first one is computer antivirus so computer antivirus what is computer antivirus computer antivirus is nothing but whenever your system is attacked with any uh, unusual uh, virus so it will be helping you to overcome that virus so you can say it is a trojan antivirus okay antivirus trojan okay it will be helping you to protect your system so next one is anti spyware software anti spyware software anti spyware software is nothing but it is detecting and removing the threats okay it is detecting and removing the threats okay by generating a password a recorder key logger with the help of that we are able to generate and uh, detect and remove all the threats next one is network security so with the help of network security you are making a use of firewall so with the help of firewall what firewall we are using basically we will be using a cisco firewall so what is cisco is doing it is managing monitoring and securing this network okay so it will be managing monitoring and secure in this system system network firewalls firewalls is nothing but it, it will be helping us to prevent from unauthorized users and uh, it will be a protecting a authorized users limitations for the authorized users so that is the firewall in the for, with the help of firewall we have some operating systems which are integrated with the firewall next one is password managers so with the help of password management software 
are where the, with the help of software management we are we were uh, developed to reinforce system security and it will prevent errors associated with the password when you have any password issues it will be helping you to uh, with the help of web browser it will be going to a central central password repository where all the password uh, credentials will be there so with the help of that we will be able to get a password back okay so next one is encryption software encryption software is nothing but encrypting the content of the app okay it is encrypting the content of the app uh, network packets files and allows only the authorized users it allows only the authorized users to come into that section log management software log management software is a tool which is helping you to process computer system entire log data cycle okay computer cycles entire dot data cycle to transmit and analyze the data boot mitigation boot is nothing but automated okay where it is hack where the uh, automated hackers will be there okay what the plan fake or mal uh, malicious spam posts links on your website whenever they are generated that it helps us to monitor all the activities unauthorized activities and help us to prevent that activities to overcome the threats monitoring tool monitoring tool is nothing but it is a it is the same like a hacker okay where it will be monitoring each and everything and help us to preventing us to overcome the security threats and helping us to uh, from unauthorized access intrusion prevention system intrusion pre prevention system is a system protection by functioning as an additional layer to analyze potential damage data and acting on the network email security so email security is nothing but where techniques and technologies are used to protect the email so and communicate which the large attacks of it. it is a primary target of phishing attacks and can be spread malware so in that we have some examples first one is spam filter second one is antivirus and third one is encryption first we'll see spam filter spam filter is nothing but whenever email is received by business or marketing device the sales emails can go into the in inbox and extend that importance essential and even official emails are missed so whenever they are missing these they are been harmful links which are included in that so whenever we open that spam we our system or a mail id can cause from the dangerous interactions so to overcome this we have email security so whenever we have spam filter the viruses the advertisements which are going that are going to the that me so whenever we want you are deleting 111 message with this spam filter you have another one that is anti virus so spam filter is nothing but it is a spam message for regular mail and detecting them eventually this will take time okay malicious malicious emails are located on a company devices awaited to deletion a thread exists that can be user may open the harmful messages and it interact with this attachment by antivirus it adds an extra layer of defense as it extract the risk of the any virus undetected spam filters reaching company network encryption encryption is nothing but where software scrambles the body content of email as well as any documents attached with this encryption without any permission they cannot go into that company website so based on the encryption details details only they will be able to go into that details it encryption is of three layers three layer yeah. encryption first one is secure a solution for the employee software and protecting layer for messages and colleagues and it is stored outbound servers and inbox intrusion detection system where essential elements are detected and we have different types of email attacks so first one is malware malware is nothing but it is a malware 
malicious software which is making a harm and uh, manipulating the devices on its data and can be placed on a software using using each different following attacks the so first one is splashing and spam spam attack is nothing but where users are sending a uh, text messages okay so with the help of man we will be able to securize the different attacks intrusion detection system is a network security technology where you will be having a security management for computers intrusion de detection system where it will assemble and analyze the information from multiple users okay where and it is analyzing the information with the multiple users and it will, it will be helping us to detect security in different databases and uh, intrusion detection is nothing but it is a soft security breach where it will contain both intrusion as well as misuse so here in this we have different emerging technologies so with the help of these emerging technologies what is happening so we are nowadays what has happening there is increase of productivity which is taking place more and more and making our life very easier so what are the emerging technologies now we are using so it can be artificial intelligence robotics internet of things blockchain cyber security tableau okay these are the different types of things power bi so these are the different types of emerging technologies which are come into consideration so which are making our life easier and um, more increasing the automation of the replication and um, making a more high value performance into the technology so based on this technology what is happening so large amount of data is been securitized then we have large amount of threats also based on the technologies legal and ethical issues in computer security so what are the legal things we will be facing in the security and uh, technology we will be seeing so first of all how we are protecting it one second so in protecting program and data we have a copyright patent and trade secret so first we will see what is a copyright so copyright is nothing but it is a law where it is defining and it is providing very significant legal tool okay it will it is providing a very significant legal tool to use in protecting the computer software so with the help of copyright what is happening we have software breach okay where different types of breaching techniques can be deal and miss operate of data computer programs documentation or similar material can be dead in this info in this information security uh, we have basic comp components of copyright law so here what are the basic components of copyright law so it was the act which was established in 1976 okay in the state of united states then it came into consideration in different countries then you have actively broadcasting now for the patent so patent is nothing but it is a protect the unique and secret aspect of idea okay it is very difficult to obtain a patent compared to copyright it is very difficult to contain the patent than the copyright patent is nothing but the patent holder have the complete disclosure of the work where they will be building the program and they will be sending the program to the software and build the program moreover here united states software patent will be enforceable in most other countries trademark trade secret secret trade secret is nothing but protecting something 
of value and useless information this law of protects the unique and secret aspect of ideas known only to discover of his or her confidence so patent is unlike it is not like a trade uh, trade secret is not like a patent and copyright so it is having some uh, kept secret the information which is valuable that information is kept secret only the authorized users can take the secret, take the information and use that information so that is trade secret information and law so first of all what is a law and we will see information is nothing but where we are having different types of data so that is information so here what is law law is nothing but what is a law law is nothing but it is a formal written document okay it is and the law is nothing but it is interpreted by court and it is legislatively representing all people and it is applicable to everyone so depending upon the law we have different conflicts so law is nothing but it is a right it is a right to people so with the help of this law we will be having different information so based on that information we will be based on that information and laws we will be able to go into the ethics the what is the study of ethics study of ethics is not only easy but it is very complex so something people uh, sometimes people are confused between ethics and law ethics is completely different from law ethics is nothing but it is a unwritten principle when you say law it is a written principle and ethics is it is interpreted by individual and it is a, a presented by philosophers religions and professional groups ethics are which are come under personal choice okay um, and ethics are of two principal conflicts and here we have issues of security computer security which are based on ethics are ethics in relation ethics principles are not universal so here here ethics re reasoning ethic reasoning is nothing but uh, based on the ethnic ethics based on the olden days of conversation older days rules we are forming different different technologies based on the technologies we are going further so first of all we have to understand the situation so then only you have to make a selection of the ethics and know the several theses of reasoning of the ethics so based on the theories and reasoning only we will be able to choose the ethics so these are the some things we will be facing in ethics so in ethical principle you will be having a uh, consequence based principles and rule based principles so what is consequence based principle consequence based principle is nothing but based on the individual based on the individual he will be able to uh, individually he will be uh, following the consequences and individually he will be facing that rules so based on the rules he will be having uh, individual relational experience analyzing so that is rule based so universally uh, when all consequences we have so based on the society we will be going into further so based on the universal rules uh, evident to everyone so here we will be studying about computer crimes so what are the computer crimes we are seeing now computer crimes whenever we are using a computer that means a crime uh, computers we have different types of crimes so you can say hackers where how they are uh, hackers what they are doing they are hacking our email id data okay indirectly or directly they are uh, unauthorized users we have to protect our data from the unauthorized users so here we have some uh, clear and other areas where we are facing many problems using the computer crimes so we have some issues in computer crimes so what are the issues we have first one is rules of property and next one is based on the property we have some rules rules of evidence threats to integrity confidentiality value of data 
so these are the different issues we are facing so depending upon the computer crime so we say uh, people in legal process they don't understand the computer so crimes involved in the computer also came uh, came into consideration so why they don't understand they have many reasons they don't understand first one is lack of understanding okay they don't understand how they are doing okay now we are using google pay phone pay so they don't understand many people are there who don't know about these so they don't have any knowledge about that because of the lack of understanding they are going under they are getting they are um, attacking with the computer crime so there is lack of physical evidence we touch on the physical evidence also lack of recognition as a and the lack of political impact so these are the different types of uh, uh, reasons where they are facing these issues the um, used uh, where they are facing these issues what type of issues come computer crime issues so so these are the issues how they are facing the computer crimes and the ethical issues in computer security so just now we have seen what is the ethics and what are the issues that we are facing in computer right so here ethics ethical issues in computer security ethical is nothing but where it is go it is coming uh, it is coming from the olden days where uh, personally they are generating that issues personally we are uh, making, making use of that so based on the ethical uses in computer in security we are protecting against mis use or unauthorized uses so when whenever we are doing some uh, activity if there is a com system failure to protect that from outside attack we are using this computer ethics so computer ethics have different things so first one is computer ethics we have different things in computer ethics first one is first of all ethics is nothing but it is a circumstance in which a moral conflict arises ethics is nothing but way in which moral uh, conflict arises in the workplace ethics is nothing but ethics and responsibility decision making where you have all security system where it is been formed and you have moral principles and participation to the people involved to the standards and the professionals where security problems with which an organization may have to deal with and it includes the responsibility of decision making confidentiality privacy uh, liability okay these are the different things we will be seeing and ethics and responsibility and it is easy to sensitize these topics okay first one is confidentiality and privacy Con confidentiality is nothing but where you have computers where we are confidentially securizing the data okay we are securizing the data um, confidentially and checking the data generated by the computer and computer tends to carry out crimes okay we we have clean quality to the crime okay computer had made the invention of a privacy a great deal easy to potential more dangerous than the advert of the computer so these are the different types of confidentiality and privacy okay and we have privacy privacy is nothing but where we have unauthorized use or uh, reproduction of another work so that is privacy and we have fraud and misuse so based on the fraud and misuse also we have unauthorized activities which are occurring on the computer so we have to be securized and trust of money by electronic means okay so for, because of that we have a code generation uh, many things we have okay so that is um, to overcome the fraud and misuse and we have software development to the user about the nature and quality of the program so these are the different types of liabilities we are using depending upon the software security so all these securities are used to protect us from unauthorized users you can say as the technology is growing we are facing many security uh, many authentications many uh, 
hackers many uh, unauthorized users where we have to protect ourselves protect our data protect our self from unauthorized access and hackers girls you does anyone any have uh, have any doubt about hello hello any queries Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am.
हेलो Excuse me, ma'am. Is the section finished?
Excuse me, ma'am. We are not able to hear you. Hello? Ma'am, you are seeing ma'am? We are not able to hear you. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Now is it it's okay? Now it is clear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can continue. Thank you. So computer crime is nothing but it is the cyber crime. Okay, cyber crime is a crime where which is involving a computer and a network. Computer may be defined. Uh, it can be used as a commission of crime and it will be able to harm someone secure someone's security and financial health. So there are many privacy concerns surrounding cyber crime. So when confidentiality of information is the main concern, here cyber crime is the one where it is not helping to securize the information. We have cyber crime is nothing but where you are using the computer as an instrument to further legal ends. Here we have committing fraud, trafficking in child, pornography, intellectual property, and stealing identities. Okay, these are the some of the computer crimes. So we have some five computer crimes. Uh, punishing scam, internet fraud. We have different computer crimes where we are able to see different people who are going into the computer crimes. Um, phishing is one of the main form of social engineering attack where it is telling you. It is telling you and giving your personal inspect uh, personal information where usually cyber comes are com committed and trusted and they are properly brand creating fake low social media. So these sites are copy the appearances of the real website to create and sense the security and uh, utilize as to fill the form with personal information to receive some kind of benefits such as discount. So these types is come under version scam. Next one is scams. OK, scams is internet fraud, scam or internet fraud. So scam is nothing but where people ask to send money promising a much more, much more larger amount in short period of time with low interest. OK, giving your details um, to them. This is one type of scam where uh, we are giving all our details uh, like phone number, uh, phone number, address, uh, bank details. So each and everything with the help of that, they are able to take the amount, a large amount of money from a bank. So that is internet scam. So next one is online intellectual property infringement. Online intellectual property infringement is nothing but where we are having a sale of replication of goods, patents. OK, many more things we will be having where we are having privacy. Privacy is nothing but where you have unauthorized uh, reproductive or copy. OK, we have same thing or we have the original copy and same like the original copy. 
we will be having a another copy that is crisis okay replication of good same like that okay branded clothes branded watches same like that but they are of less amount so this is nothing but online intellectual property infringement so these are the and you have identity threat identity threat is nothing but it is closely related to the phishing scam so it is closely related with the help of internet and it is used to improve and execute it and we have have two main forms in this where we are the, where we are storing the information and uh, we are stolen in the information storing as well as stolen the information so here we have different payment method so depending upon the payment method we will be able to stolen the information and stole the money so these are the different types of online harassments and cyber stalkings we will be seeing in the online these all considers social media where social media is a one platform where it is giving you a different exposure of uh, different platforms okay giving an idea of that okay so here we have many people who don't who are not aware of the cyber crime so because of that we are we are been affecting affecting a community so cyber crime is one of the simple and defined defined crimes that are directly related to the computers so with the help of domestic and international crime activities where we are using the devices and tools personal computer internet software with a minute of time we will be able to affect this software so these are the reasons where we have different reasons so why we have this software, uh, computer crime lack of understand we don't know how to operate a computer we don't know how to deal with the computer so because of that we are facing this computer crimes so we are facing this computer crimes we don't understand what is actually uh, how the computer works what are the things we need to know in the computer so these are the this is one is first one is lack of misunderstanding lack of understanding of the computer so lack of um, physical evidence so we don't have physical evidence so based on the uh, based on that we will be able to have a cyber crime and lack of recognition asset so this is also one of the important asset based on that also we will be able to face this computer crime so we have different types of uh, reasons uh, based on that reasons we will be saying facing computer crime so ethical issues ethical issues what are the ethical issues we are facing nowadays so ethical issues in cyber security so we are harming we are harming the privacy harm and uh, we are harming the privacy of the sensitivity of the data about the user and the user should be protected against the system so we have to use the user we are the user we have to protect the uh, system from the unauthorized users from outside attacks and uh, and disclose them so that is is nothing but privacy that is nothing but ethical ethical issues so now ethical issues there are many unique challenges we say we face in the day to day life here mostly information so based on the information we are facing this ethical issues so first one here we have been summarized this ethical issues involved with the many other things so we have a four main important ethical issues first one is privacy second one accuracy third one property and fourth one is accessibility so privacy privacy is nothing but what information about one self and one's association okay so he must be a person who is believing to understand what the condition and what are the safeguards we have okay he is forced to tell us what are the conditions we are facing what are the systems what is the uh, actual information we need to protect 
so that is privacy accuracy is nothing but who is responsible for the authenticity okay who is accurately giving the information who is telling the information and for errors in information we will be having a injured party so we will be having an injured party who will be having a whole error information property property is nothing but where we are ha having own information so with the help of own information we are able to exchange the data so depending upon that we will be able to find the property next one is access access is one uh, it is one of the most important uh, way the information technology which is storing conveying processing the information and it includes libraries radios television telephone um, and uh, nowadays we have different social medias where you can access the information where you can get the information and <coughs> usually many people in the world today are both currently using the information in different times so this is about uh, ethics so ethics in computer security so we have different ethics so based on these ethics ethics are of individual and universal when you say individual based on the consequences to the individual we will be facing the ethics the based on the rules <coughs> based on the rules individual relation experience analysis we will be able to go into a universal rules where we are evidenting to everyone so and we have warranties where we are providing the warranties using the uh, antivirus okay so where we are providing the automatical uh, automatical uh, every scale where we are providing the warranties with the help of that we will be able to securize the information you can say you are protecting the information in day to day life with the help of many different security issues this is also one of the um, ethically we are securizing information we are protecting the information to further going into a next higher level so here and it is very easy and it is very easy and um, to save the information but it is very important and it is very hard to securize the information and it is a uh, making the information in a uh, unauthorized users are making the information in a destructive level where helping where they hacking the information and helping the information to hack it okay to their self use and personal use they are using so this is about ethical issues and computer crimes and different types of uh, securities emerging technologies we are facing day to day life we are facing different uh, things data securities and privacies girls you have uh, sorry does anyone any have any doubt Yes, students. If you have any query, please ask now. No. Yes, ma. If no queries, uh, go for out of time. Yes, are you? On behalf of my class, I extend. No one has any doubts. No, ma'am. No one are having anything. I think.
Yes, ma'am. Continue. Of class, I extend a really heartly vote of thanks to our guest lecturer who spread who spared time from her the busiest schedule to grace the occasion. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts, and this will surely be going to encourage us in our future events. I am immensely thankful to Miss Joycey Ma'am for her efforts towards lecture of today. Our own ideas and the elegance of explanation of everything. I need to mention my deepest sense of appreciation. I also extend thanks to all the staff members of our department for organizing this lecture. Thank you, ma'am. No, I see, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks. A lot. Thank you, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma yeah, students. Thank you, one and all. All of you. All of you fill the feedback form and then you can leave. Sarah, you please uh, download the attendance sheet, ma. Download the attendance sheet. Share the feedback link. Once everyone are done, then you can close the session. Okay. So thank you, one and all. Thank you, ma'am.